Welcome back, everyone. NVIDIA does the job for this market, and up, up, and away we go again. But is it stable? When we take a look at the S&P 500 through the lens of the SPY, this is a long-term trend channel starting in October of 2022. It is also a statistical channel, giving us an idea of how far away we are from what would be considered normal. Normal being the center line or the regress line. When we look at the current price action, which did not make a lower low, has pushed out, made a higher high. The market is telling us that this gap is filled, but will it actually continue to go? Or is this just a back test gap fill and a resistive area? Back down we go. Well, technicals can help with this. We should take a look at NVDA. It is a very large range at the hard right edge after breaking out above previous highs. Now that happened back at the end of October. And we had some wild moves in the stock, making new all-time highs intraday today. Now, the stock itself is at a high area that it's been at. The market is taking this ball and trying to run with it. Again, can this market give us a higher all-time high? And is this now launch time? Well, let's take a quick look at the technicals on an intra-market basis. The Russell, the Dow, the S&P, and the NASDAQ. All four indices have broken back up above their champion cross buy zones. That's the opaque zone. So that's a very big positive, and they're all on buy signals. On a four-hour chart basis, the sell signal zones have now almost all been eradicated except for the NASDAQ. We've got the Russell, the Dow, and the S&P in champion trend and champion cross buy signal states right now. However, we do not have the same for the NASDAQ, which is a concern. It's a bit of a divergent behavior. It's trying its darndest to push up. So in order to take the amalgam of the types of things that are held in all of these major indices, we look at the S&P for guidance, and I'm gonna break that down into a multi time frame view. And what we see here is the daily chart. What we looked at, it's looking good. The four hour chart is looking good. In terms of the sub charts, I want you to focus in on the spike 2.0 tool over here. You can see that green line, the slow spike moving up above the top of the channel. It's in a very bullish state. This is strong momentum. However, that strong momentum doesn't tend to last for very long. So this does indicate follow through is likely a small dip to back test the broken resistance and then a move back up or a direct move back up to complete would be in order in terms of what the four hour charts say. Now, we do know that that pullback is likelier when the one hour chart is near the end of its champion trend pack sequence of signals, champion trend, champion cross, wealth signal, and breakout forecasters. We haven't had a breakout forecaster for the last two hourly bars, the current and the last. So this does pose the likelihood of a pullback before a bounce. A pullback that meets with negativity in terms of data flow from tomorrow morning could be pernicious. Watch out below 59.45 and up, up and away above 59.80. I hope that this is very helpful for you. And I'd like to share an amazing session that was done today with Dr. Keith. This session was raved about, and he's going to be coming back and doing it again. Join us for this live session on Saturday, November the 23rd, starting at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. If you're a prop trader and you're looking at acing your evaluations, well, Dr. Keith is going to show you how he uses his tools and techniques in conjunction with Rob's strategies to get those numbers in and make it a higher probability decision uh, in terms of trading day over day. Go to becomebettertrader.com forward slash yes and get your seat. It is not a recorded event. Looking forward to seeing you there Saturday, November the 23rd at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Bye for now all and have a wonderful rest of your day.